Hola a todos. Muy buenos días. ¿Cómo estáis? Hello everyone. I'm Kartar Singh Kathuria. I'm your Spanish language teacher. I hope you all are doing well today. So in this class today we are going to talk about how do we introduce ourselves in Spanish? How do we present or introduce ourselves? So there are different ways. We will just stick to four or five basic sentences. So start practicing and uh, this Five sentences will be very helpful to you whenever you are going to meet someone, you are going to greet someone for the very first time. Very helpful. So let's continue our journey of learning Spanish language. And I hope you are enjoying it. All right. As you can see my screen. Presentarse. Presentarse, or we call it introducirse, to introduce or to present yourself. So whenever we present ourselves, uh, first of all, we need to analyze what are the different things we are going to talk about. So obviously, starting with our name. So I'm writing the list of the things that we need to talk about. Name, age. Place of origin, it can include nationality also. All right, profession, phone number if it is required. And also we can include name, age, nation. Yes, place where I'm actually living, current place of living. Email address. And that's it. And in the end, we will say nice to meet you. Thank you very much. All right. So if there's any additional thing, we will keep on adding. But uh, five, six sentences, basic sentences, you need to memorize. All right. So how do we tell our name? There are different ways of telling the name. First of all, let me write these words in Spanish. Nombre. El nombre. La edad. El lugar de origen, la nacionalidad, place of origin, nationality. You need not to focus. It is just for reference. Right? El nombre, name. And then, el lugar de residencia, place of residence. La profesión, profession. El número de teléfono, telephone number, el correo electrónico, email address. So, how do we tell the name? So, there are different ways. I will, I'm going to tell you three different ways of telling your name. So, you can say, me llamo. Me llamo, and you tell your name. Uh, or you can also say, I will also write the translation for your reference. Yo soy, and the name. And the most basic one, mi nombre es, and the name. So let me write the translation. I call myself, and here you are telling your name, or I am, my name is, so these are the different ways to tell the name. And to talk about your age, this is a sentence that you can use, yo tengo, number here and yours how many e it if we literally translate it it would mean i have these many years which actually doesn't make sense but this is how spanish people use so uh, maybe we can translate for our ease i am number years old i will also teach you numbers in a moment 
So for example, uh, if I would like to say I am from India, but I'm living in different place. Yo soy de place of origin. And here you can mention the city, you can mention the state, or you can mention the country, anything. Yo soy, I am, de means from, I am from, and you just mention the place. Yo soy, and also you want to mention the nationality, yo soy, and then nacionalidad. What is your nationality? I am from India. I am Indian. Yo soy indio. If a girl is saying, she should say, Yo soy India. I am Indian. Right? And next one, we have where I am currently living. For example, Yo vivo in Gurugram in Haryana. Yo vivo in I live in Gurugram. I live in Gurugram, Haryana, in Haryana. Right? And then talking about the profession. Yo soy, I am, and profession. Professor de Español. I am Spanish teacher. So here you can mention any profession, whatever is your profession. I am Spanish teacher. And your phone number? Mi numero de teléfono es el 829-5544-676. I'll be telling you the numbers in a moment. So it means my phone number is, and whatever is your phone number, you can just mention here. And talking about email address, so the sentence that we are going to use, mi correo electronico es, so whatever is your email, for example, this is my email address, so, two things here. We don't say at the rate in Spanish. The word at the rate is called as arroba. What do we call it? At the rate is arroba. And dot is punto. Right? So, mi correo electrónico es cartar sin caturia arroba gmail punto com. Or gmail, no, gmail punto com. Or gmail.com, they will understand you. Wow, so six sentences we have learned so far. So I will summarize it in a in this table. Me llamo. Here you mention your name. Yo tengo. You mention your age. Yo soy de. I am from. Yo vivo en, I live in, tengo, and then yo soy, your profession, whatever is your profession, one, two, three, four, five. Obviously, the first time you are going to meet someone, you are not going to tell the phone number, email address. That is not required, but I just shared it for your information. And the last one that you will use will be nice to meet you. Mucho gusto. Nice to meet you. Or you can also say encantado. And a girl would say encantada. Encantado, encantada. So I'm writing here for your reference. Me llamo. Name. Yo tengo. Años. I am this much years old. So here we have name, age, place of origin, 
place where I am living. Profession. And these are the greetings. That means nice to meet. So I would like you to write your presentation in the comment section below. And it is very helpful. So giving the example here, the translation also I have written. So I call myself your name. I am the number years old. Yo soy de, I am from. Yo vivo en, I live in. Yo soy, I am, and your profession. And again, you can use either mucho gusto o encantado. So that is your presentation. If I quickly write my presentation, though I have already written, just to revise it, that's how it would look like. In a moment. Perfect. Here it is. So, me amo, I will write my name. Yo tengo. Treinta años. And 30 years old. Yo soy de la India. I am from India. Or I can say, yo soy de Haryana. I am from Haryana. Right? Or here you can also add, yo soy indio, I am Indian, your nationality. If a girl is saying, she would say, yo soy india. Please keep in mind that the nationality is always written in small letters. And the country's name, la india in capital letters. Yo vivo en Gurugram. I live in Gurugram. Yo soy profesor de Espanol. I am Spanish language teacher. And in the end, mucho gusto. Nice to meet you. So this is the basic presentation that you can use. I hope it has been helpful to you. And regarding the numbers, there is another video. Do check it out. So I hope uh, you have liked the presentation about introducing yourself for the first time in Spanish. And if you have liked it, I would like to see your presentation in the comment section below. Thank you very much. I really hope that you have liked the video. If you are interested in learning more Spanish, you can subscribe my channel. Give like to this video and do share with your friends. Thank you very much. Hasta luego. Hasta luego means see you later. Adios. Bye-bye. Hasta luego. Gracias. Thank you.